Now, in order to maintain our extensive feeding program, we rely on Yamaha's side-by-sides to carry feed, equipment, and us around the thousands of acres of rough terrain where our trucks simply can't go. You know, there's a lot of brands that make ATVs and side-by-sides out there, and some of them embrace the outdoor lifestyle and some of them don't. And that's the unique aspect of Yamaha Outdoors to me and their whole ATV and UTV lineup. They embrace the outdoors. They, they live it, they partake in it, they experience it and they understand it, whether you're a rancher, a farmer, a guy working on a pipeline, or your guys like us who use them at our deer hunting lease and hunting camps all the time. Uh, and not only that, they, they actually give back to lots of con conservation programs, lots of land access grants. They allow you to be able to enjoy your ride, whether you're you know out with your family, a recreation on the weekend, or you're out at your hunting camp. And when I, I look at how we use all the different models and how we have for over a decade, uh, it's been really exciting to see the growth and the changes in, the, in all of their platforms that we ride on. And it's, it's basically because they come out and experience it and enjoy it and learn from those trips out there and they take those trips back to the engineers and their team to be able to build better beds to haul gear with, more comfortable rides, quieter rides, more efficient rides. And, and as I look at everything that we've done today, whether I've, I've been on a four-wheeler, uh, cutting through brush, or I'm, I'm riding around in my Viking, my Wolverine, a, a two-seater, a four-seater, or whatever it is, each year it gets better and better because of their commitment to everything in the outdoors. And we really push ours and put them to the test. And, you know, we're hauling large-scale items, whether it's, it's feed, whether it's gear, whether it's stands, whether it's camera guys, we're hauling all that around. We're using them in muddy conditions. We're using them in cold conditions when it's too cold to want to ride unless you're totally bundled up. And we also run them when it's well over 100 degrees. We hop in them, turn the key on, start them up, they work. And they work for us when we're out in the field. You know, for me personally, I'd much rather run around in my UTVs than would any truck we have because they're more comfortable, more efficient, they're more maneuverable, Frankly, they just perform better when I'm out there. I don't get my teeth knocked out when I'm running down these old rocky roads. That's why we've used the Yamahas for so long.